Hey guys, this is Carmen Thomas with <sighs> Thomas Family Travels and I've had a unique opportunity. Right now we're in uh, West Maui um, and a friend told me all about a beautiful chocolate factory that has these exotic chocolates that are made here in Hawaii um, and all of their proceeds go to charity. I thought that was pretty cool and it deserved an episode. So let's go and check them out. Oh yeah? So more flavors to choose from. Yes, yes, more. <clears throat> So I'm doing a chocolate tasting and these are all of the chocolates that I'm going to be trying out. This is a dark chocolate grown in Maui. Oh, this is the Ecuador. This is Ecuador. This is, oh yeah, this is wild Amazon. And this is a Calamondin. They call it Calamansi. It's a kind of lime from the Philippines. Well, it's funny because we call it calamondin, the little tiny thing, right? And it's very... Orange, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's originally from the Philippines is what my understanding. Okay. Um, but maybe it's in a different language. Maybe. You know what I mean? Because uh, that's probably the Filipino word. Calamansi. Yeah. yeah. So this is really, really cool. So tell me, you said that your chocolates are... Your chocolate, cacao, is sourced here in Maui. Yes. So we, we actually have three sources. So the first one here, um, that's the Maui Grown. We go over 50 varieties um, here on our farm. Mm -hmm. We also source two single varieties of chocolate. Mm -hmm. So this first one is from Ecuador. It's a family-run estate. Um, the bean is called the Ecuador Nacional. Mm -hmm. And won Best Taste Award at the Paris Salon du Chocolat Awards. Wow. So it's traditional tasting and delicious. The wild Amazon one is very different tasting. Non-traditional chocolate. Mm -hmm. It has floral and herbal notes and a little bit of earthiness and dried berries too. Wow. Yeah, so very different. All three of those will taste very different, even though there's only cacao, cocoa butter, and sugar. Three ingredients. So tell me what you, he was saying that your, all proceeds go to charity. Yeah, what charities? So 34 different charities on Maui, actually. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so the whole purpose of opening up um, the factory uh, that Brenner's wanted is to support the nonprofit community here on Maui. Mm -hmm. um, he already had started a grant foundation, he and his wife, in retirement, mm -hmm. and basically started a cacao farm and then factory in retirement as well. Okay. So that's basically their goal is just to give back to the community as much as possible. I love it. Yeah. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to taste these and um, I'm just going to see if they hold up to the Jamaican chocolate. I don't know. I'm a little biased, yeah. but we're going to see what happens. Okay. So hold on. We're going to try these. Yay. All right. Uh, I guess I get two more though. So two more. Just tell me what you think I'm going to be. That's going to mango. Definitely. Well, let me try it since that's the last one. Oh, okay. So they have a farm in front of Holly. And then we also get two more on this plate, too. So my friend Ray, like, put me on to this place. And really? I, oh, yeah. okay. okay so. He put me on to this place. Yeah, so. it's really fun. And I'm glad that you actually live somewhere where you grow up now. Yes! It makes it fun, right? So they have a little sun deck upstairs where you can do your chocolate tasting. So I am going to go upstairs. The weather here is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go upstairs and check it. Ah, okay. Let me find a spot. Hello, tiny person. Oh, this is a beautiful spot. Let me let you guys see it. Got the ocean out there. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So, I am 
gonna try some chocolate. Mm-hmm. Maybe I have to try some chocolate. So. I am super excited to try this. So, tell the store. flavors too, by the way. The mango, guava, and calamansi, we grow all of those on island. Mm -hmm. um, so the mango uh, is grown on the farm. It's the Mapalehu variety. Mm -hmm. The guava's all wild growing up north. And then our owner grows all the calamansis at his house. Okay. Um, so we make a puree of the fruits. You dehydrate and break it down less than 15 microns. So you'll notice they're all super smooth chocolates. Mm -hmm. Even though you get the fruit flavor coming out, it's, it's small enough that it tastes just like a particle of cacao does where it's just smooth. Now this is the blood orange. Mm-hmm. Blood orange is probably my favorite. Let me put some. Ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy. I'm gonna get you some water. Soon. Yes, Thank perfect. You. Thank you. The service here is awesome too. Really good job. Mm. <laughs> okay. I can taste the blood orange. It's there. It's definitely, definitely there. Are you gonna eat some? No. I'm getting gaggles of this stuff. This is like the fourth time I've been here with my sister, my children. This is the third time, third, three times with them, and, and then today. So I've had it all. Mm, mm, good. Mm. Trying to think of it. Hmm? Definitely smooth. Mm -hmm. Definitely mm. smooth. Mm. So, you know, I always like to bring you places that are unique and different. And this is really good. It's not bitter. It's not, um, definitely not bitter. And I could taste the floral notes. Oh, which one? The, oh, the uh, blood orange? The blood orange. Yeah. That is good. <coughs> lemongrass is another one that they, that they have. This is a lemongrass. Um, and it's really simple the way they make it. It's not, it's very simple. Well, anyway, guys, I'll check back in with you on my uh, Maui run up and down runabout. But right now, I got some chocolate to eat. Toodles. Talk to you guys later.